Sophie's Choice. Meryl Streep stars as Sophie, a Polish immigrant with a haunting past. She lives in Brooklyn with her lover Nathan, Kevin Klein, who battles schizophrenia. Slowly, we learn Sophie survived a Nazi concentration camp and is entangled in an affair with her neighbor, Stingo, Peter McNichol. The heart-wrenching climax reveals Sophie was forced to choose which of her children would die at Auschwitz. Dead Poet Society. Robin Williams plays John Keating, an unorthodox teacher at an all-boys prep school. He inspires his students, especially Neil Perry, Robert Sean Leonard, to embrace their passions. But Neil's dream of acting clashes with his parents' strict plans for him. Unable to see another way out, Neil tragically takes his own life. Keating is blamed and fired, and the students return to their rigid routines. The Fly. Jeff Goldblum stars as Seth Brundle, a scientist experimenting with teleportation. Things go horribly wrong when a fly sneaks into the teleportation pod, merging its DNA with his. Seth's transformation into a grotesque human-fly hybrid is horrifying. His love interest, Ronnie, Gina Davis, is pregnant and terrified. In a tragic end, she is forced to kill Seth, who begs for death to escape his monstrous fate. Terms of Endearment. This film follows Aurora, Shirley MacLaine, and her daughter Emma, Deborah Winger. Their tumultuous relationship faces its ultimate test when Emma is diagnosed with terminal cancer. Emma's death is a heart-wrenching scene, with Aurora taking custody of her grandchildren. Stand By Me. Based on Stephen King's novella, Stand By Me follows four boys searching for a dead body. Their journey is both a coming-of-age adventure and a harsh confrontation with mortality. The film ends on a reflective note, revealing that the group's camaraderie fades with time. Arguably the best of the Star Wars saga, The Empire Strikes Back also boasts one of its darkest endings. After escaping the Empire's clutches, Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, faces Darth Vader, only to lose his hand and learn that Vader is his father. The revelation is a massive emotional blow. The Fox and the Hound. This Disney classic explores an unlikely friendship between Todd the Fox and Copper the Hound. As they grow up, societal expectations force them apart. The film ends with Copper saving Todd from being killed, but acknowledging they can't be friends. Their final sorrowful glance underscores the film's message about the painful realities of growing up and societal boundaries. Friday the 13th. This slasher film redefined the horror genre with its gruesome kills and shocking twist. Camp counselors are picked off one by one by an unseen assailant. The final reveal shows the killer is Mrs. Voorhees, avenging her son Jason's death. After she's defeated, the movie ends with a chilling scene of Jason's ghostly hand pulling the lone survivor into the lake, leaving audiences with an eerie sense of dread. The Shining. Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of Stephen King's novel stars Jack Nicholson as Jack Torrance, a man slowly driven mad by the haunted Overlook Hotel. His son Danny has psychic abilities, foreseeing the horrors to come. The movie's climax sees Jack attempting to murder his family. In the end, Danny and his mother escape, but Jack succumbs to the cold, frozen in the maze. All Dogs Go to Heaven this animated film tells the story of Charlie, a dog who returns from heaven for revenge. He eventually forms a bond with a little girl named Anne Marie. Despite his redemption arc, Charlie dies again, saving Anne Marie. The film ends with Charlie in heaven, unable to be with the girl he's grown to love. 